so here's the deal. I was out mowing my lawn and my Craftsman Easy Walk mower broke. Something broke in this where the self-propelled feature doesn't work anymore. These handles just kind of went slack. It kind of felt like the cable broke. So we're gonna check it out. Per the manufacturer instructions, you're supposed to put like a baggie or something on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's supposed to keep the gas from coming out while I tip it over. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do before I take anything apart is I'm just gonna follow this cable, right? Cable goes into the deck right here. So I'm gonna flip it over. And lo and behold, this cable fell out. It normally attaches right here. The little attachment piece is gone. It fell out. And that's what's left. You can see, that's where the cable snapped. It's just frayed. And I think I know why. Here's the cable. That's about where that bend is, right here. So just the way this is put together causes undue stress right at this bend point right here. And it frays that cable just by the way they have it hooked up from the factory. And that's just idiotic. I really don't understand how the engineers that design such an intricate machine can miss something as obvious as that. It's gonna cause undue wear and tear. And this isn't the first time I've had problems with this machine either. About eight months after I bought it, it just started running like crap and it, it wouldn't stay running. It just didn't have any power. Sent it back for warranty repair. They kept it for a month and told me that somehow grass had made it into the carburetor and plugged things up. You'd think, again, that the engineers who made this thing could come up with a simple solution to keep that from happening. I mean, it's a lawnmower. All right, enough of that. I'm, I'm gonna get myself mad about it, so let's just get to working on this cable. All right, to take this apart, there's a bunch of T20 Torx screws underneath here. All these screws are the same, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And off she comes. You have two more screws that hold this thing together. Now, be careful when you undo this. You don't want any parts flying out. There we go. Nice and easy. That just comes out like that. Keep this thing facing upwards because if you tip it over, something's gonna fall out. This little guy here is like clipped from behind and you have a new one anyway that came with the new cable. So this thing, you just rip it out. There it goes. I'm just gonna take the rest of this cable and get it out of here. There we go. I'm gonna match this cable up with this hose so you can see, look at that. Right at the bend is where that cable frayed and broke. And you can see how much stress that that bend right there put on that cable. Pretty much a given that this was going to wear out real fast. This particular mower is a Craftsman Platinum. It's model number 917.370922. And the cable for this is a 431.650. I got this off of Amazon from a guy called Mower Parts Man. Thanks, Mower Parts Man. I know there's a lot of mowers that have this system right here. Some of the older ones only had one handle and that kept breaking off. So they added two handles and when you can squeeze one or the other or both and it does the same thing. Weave this back through the cable holders that are already on the mower. But rather than putting it down here, through here and putting that kink in it again, I'm gonna put it in here nice and loose and I'm gonna zip tie it to this other cable. Just snaps right in. There we go. Now look at that. No more bend, no more stress at this point right here. Scratched up the deck pretty good, oh well. All right, real quick before I put this back together, this is the inside of that easy walk mechanism. I noticed online there's a lot of guys who put grease in here to lubricate this, and that is terrible. Don't put grease inside this, it's plastic, it'll ruin it. What I am gonna do, however, is put some 3M silicone paste on here. This is safe for plastic. If you haven't lubricated this part before, look for parts where there's wear and tear. Like right here, I can see the plastic is kind of getting shaved a little bit by this piece that was in here. So that needs a little bit of lube. I'm just going to put it on with my finger. It doesn't need a whole lot. With this silicone paste, it's pricey. It's about $26 for a can of this stuff, but a little bit goes a long way. Put some on these little wheels. There's a little spring right here. Don't lose it. All right, got that back all together. Just make sure everything works right. It appears to. Let's put it back on the mower. This part can get a little bit tricky. Man, those cicadas are really going today. Now what you have to do is get this cable behind this spring right here into this hole right here. And for that, I have a nice long set of needle nose pliers. There we go. I'm just pulling on the cable end and it's hooked up. And while you're hooking up this cable over here, if you need a little bit of slack, all you do is push this cable all the way through just give it a shove and it'll put it'll give you slack on this end so you can pull that little clip part out and hook it into the actuator right here. So now all we need to do is get this part back together. So I'm going to feed this cable in here down and around where it needs to go. Kind of like an over under deal right here. It goes under, over, 
under. And that bolt and nut fits right into that spot right there. And then once you have that together, be mindful to keep this upright, put the cap back on. These two screws here and here match up with the holes on this retention plate so you can tighten this up and keep it solid before you put your retention plate on. All right, nice and tight. If you test this out and it's still not quite as fast as it used to be, or it's just not moving, that nut that was on the cable, that's an adjustment nut. You can take this back apart and spin that a few times and then put it back together and retest it. It's kind of tedious, but that's the way you do it. Let's go try it out. Alright, well, I'd say that's a successful test. The lawnmower's hauling ass again like it was new. But if you've never done this job before, I would say this is easy. You know, this job actually took me like three times longer than it should have just because I was filming and I had to keep starting and stopping. But if I could have just worked all the way through, it probably would have only taken me about 10 minutes to do this entire thing. It's not complicated at all. But the key, the key to keeping it from happening again is to not mount this through that loop like it came from the factory. Give it a little bit of leeway here. It was almost a 90 degree bend that they had on this cable from the factory and that's no good. You know that's gonna just wear and tear until it breaks. So if you just keep this straight and zip tie it somewhere else instead of the little loop that it came in from the factory, you'll be good to go. Wrapping it up, if you guys have any questions about this mower, please shoot me a comment. I'm going to go get to cutting the lawn. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sweet. Not bad for a day's work. <laughs>